Hi. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It's Yellowstone time. It's Yellowstone time. Yeah, I'm coughing you. Why? You do it it's every funny. time. We're going to show you Yellowstone today. It's going to be a long day driving around, seeing lots of cool stuff. It's 7 o'clock, the sun's not even up yet, and uh, there's a lot of people parked around us, which means we must be in a pretty popular place. Yep. Well, there's. All the campgrounds are full. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're not in a campground. Let me just give that away. A beautiful campground known as Truck Stop. So in Yellowstone, sure fire sign that you're seeing wildlife or you're gonna see wildlife is everybody stops in the road. And uh, so we're stopped in the road. And this shadow walking toward us is, uh, um, it's our buddy, Mr. Bison. Please turn the right lane. <laughs> Bison, check. So one of our least favorite things, besides all the people in national parks, is the fact that the dogs are not welcome on any trails, even short little mile, mile and a half trails. So this is Everest Roll today. Come here, pop up. Come on. Good girl. Hey. Good girl. You want to have breakfast while you're here? She knows what breakfast is. All right, sweet thing. I love you. Socks. So this is the hike that you want to make to go behind Grand Prismatic and have the view looking down where you see the colors pretty spectacular. Um, it's not going to take us too long. I think it's about a mile and a half. But while everybody has uh, gone off and meandered, they just failed to see there's a bison hanging out about 100 yards away. All by himself, just eating. So to get here, you want to go, if you're coming from the north, you want to go about a mile past Grand Prismatic, and there's a big parking lot on the right. There's a cars only parking lot, and then there's a little turnoff for RVs. If you're coming from Old Faithful, the parking lot is actually gonna be before you get to Grand Prismatic, and there's not a lot of good signage, so keep an eye out for a big, it's an expansive parking lot. Uh, it's a great place. Actually, this is our probably our favorite place to come in Yellowstone, and uh, it's because of the views you're about to see. So, we'll get to it. We'll see if Mr. Bison wants to come along. This would make us... No. No. This would make us world famous. If we got attacked by a bison. Lindsay, come on. Oh, he's stalking us. Is he? It's probably like, oh, they have food. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm not a coward per se, but I'm also not stupid. Well, he's following us. <laughs> I don't think his hose will like this bridge. Yeah, but so. it's not. I mean, he won't fall through. Yeah, he's just going over by the water. I'm just making sure he's not coming this way. Many feet have trodden here. It's not a secret, but most people miss it. I think there's a statistic out there, like only one in 73 people that visit Yellowstone actually stop to hike this. No, really? Yeah. Yeah. So that means like 470,000 people a year. I'm just making up numbers. I don't really know. A lot of people come out here, but not as many people as what come through the park. And it's an easy hike for the most part. Um, there are some steps toward the end, which is what you want to get up at higher elevation. But pretty much anybody in the family can do this. So after about three quarters of a mile, you're gonna come to a nice little sign. Gives you instructions. If you wanna go to the overlook, head up this way where Lindsay is, or you can keep hiking around. Okay, so the ground stays level, but it is a little steep, steeper than we remember. We're not out of shape, really. We're out of shape. We're just at 7,000 feet in elevation. We're not used to that. And we're out of shape. So you can walk along that walkway down there and look at the different pools. There are different colors, different minerals. But you don't really see color. The sun's right in our face right here. But you can still see some of these oranges and greens. The pool itself has nice blues and greens. Because it's so cold out, it's still in the 40s, the air temperature, so there's a lot of steam coming off the spring. Um, makes it hard to see. So coming during the day, you're gonna have more people to deal with, um, but when it warms up, shouldn't have as much issue with the visibility. So we're gonna actually head down and go hike out through the, uh, the walkway and go visit some of the springs. Might see a little bit more color in the morning um, than what we could see from up here. But again, this is a beautiful place to come and check it out during the day. Uh, it's a little bit off the beaten path from what most people are used to. So here we'll head on down. I'm happy it's down most of the way. <laughs> you ready to go? Yeah. Let's get there. This is the big one. This is Excelsior Geyser. Does interrupt that often, but they still indicate that it could. This is Grand Prismatic. Bad day for hats. This is about the 15th hat. There's actually rangers going around scooping them up. This place will be crazy busy during the day. A little bit later, it's still only 9.30 out here. 
and cool. It's a cold breeze. Water coming out of here, 160 degrees. We are at Old Faithful Geyser, and it's supposed to go off, what, 10.45? 10.43, plus yeah, or minus 10 minutes. Yeah, um, and I think it's just after 10 right now. So, we got a little bit. I think we're gonna walk around on the boardwalk um, instead of just watching it from the viewing area. Give us a little different perspective. There is the famous geyser. We'll be going off shortly. Because they can I guess, predict what time it's gonna uh, erupt up. It's never cheated on its wife. Yeah. <laughs> and that too. That too. <laughs> uh, well, now that we've done that, yep. let's go to Hayden. Go to Hayden, stop at Yellowstone Lake. And Yellowstone Lake is huge. Lindsay claims it's the largest lake, what, above 7,000 7, feet in America. Because then there's Lake Titicaca. Ah. Lake Titicaca. I'm sorry, you can't help but laugh when you hear that. Lake Titicaca is definitely um, at higher elevation, but that's not in North America. So, I think so. If we don't know facts, we make them up. It is in fact larger by 17 square gallons. There are plenty of pull-offs where you can enjoy a lake. It's cold and windy for us right now. Otherwise, nice little picnic area. Let the dog go splash around. We are on a mission. Lindsay would like to see some elk. Yep. So this is Hayden Valley. So 
Upper Falls. Yep, Upper Falls. That's pretty. We are at the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. It's pretty obvious how it got its name. And here is the Yellowstone. I think we found our new favorite part of Yellowstone. Definitely worth visiting Artist Point in the uh, Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. So that is our whirlwind tour of Yellowstone. There's no way to not backtrack in Yellowstone. It's a, it's a figure eight. So we chose to backtrack through an area we're hoping to see elk on our way out. We're headed back south. We're gonna go down to Grand Teton National Park. So that's where My we're gonna- favorite. Yeah, Lindsay loves that place. It's pretty cool too. It's gonna be pretty cold. Pretty cool, pretty yeah. cold. So um, we're headed that way and we're gonna set up camp hopefully early and uh, take it easy and then head back into the Tetons tomorrow and really spend the time there tomorrow. So for now, it's just some driving. So we're all camped in Teton for the evening. It's gonna rain tonight and this winter storm's coming in. So we spend a lot of our time dealing with logistics when we travel. So as beautiful as it is right outside. The Teton Mountains. We wanted to spend two or three days here but that's not possible. So um, tonight it rains, tomorrow it rains, and then cold and snow come in. So we're gonna be headed south a little faster than we thought. And that's what Lindsay's working on right now. Trying to figure out where to go, where we can avoid most of the worst of this stuff. So it's pretty much guaranteed you won't be alone when you get here. But when you come to Teton National Park, this needs to be your campsite. We'll make sure you know exactly how to get here. 